These are gonna be high brass. Oh! America! So we're talking about the Smith 916A. We decided to make a video about this because we got one of these in the shop the other day. It was a pretty interesting piece of history. We didn't know much about it, so we looked it up. We noticed there's not much about it. There's not much on YouTube. Uh, so we decided to test it out ourselves. This thing was made by Smith & Wesson between 1972 and 1980. They bought the patent and tooling and design and all that stuff from Noble Manufacturing. Uh, they went out of business because of poor shotgun quality. Uh, this one here, we discovered it's pretty poor quality as well. And in predictable fashion, it fails to eject. There it went. Cool. Now it's not feeding. Good stuff. Oh, look, it's got it all ripped. Nice. This is ridiculous. So as you can see, we have all sorts of feeding and injection issues and that kind of thing, which is the reason why this thing sort of died on the vine in like 1980. We were shooting some Federal number eight low brass. It wasn't doing much. Then we started running this Winchester Supreme. It, uh, it'll, it's high brass, it kicks your teeth in. It seems to be the only thing that this thing likes. So this was Smith & Wesson's answer to the Model 870s and that sort of thing uh, that were, being used by police at that time if you remember you know back in the 70s there weren't things like glocks and stuff that all the cops had they were using smith and western revolvers model 10s and and stuff like that so smith really wanted to get into that uh that market with like the 870s and the winchester 1300s and things like that that the cops were running except that the cops hated this for the same reason that we did it had feeding and ejection problems it took our uh that number eight and it would just get stuck in the barrel and rip the brass apart. It just wasn't very good at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on with this Supreme that it seems to like, uh, and then we're gonna pattern it a little bit and we'll shoot some other stuff. So we're gonna run it at about 10 feet, super close, and see how this, uh, this gun patterns with this Winchester Supreme double out buck. It's a muzzle at 20 feet. So now we're gonna try 30 feet and see how it patterns. So we've got uh, at the 10 feet mark, it's all pretty tight. We got a ton of powder burn and, and you can see where the powder went through, just went through the paper there. Um, so, you know, this is kind of a, a home defense or a duty type gun. Um, so you can get a good idea at the ranges that you'd be working in, in a home defense situation. It's most of the time you're not gonna be taking 30 foot shots at the house. So, you know, this is probably a lot closer to what you'd be doing in real life. Uh, this is 20 feet in the middle and you can see that it spreads significantly more around 30 feet. But, so that's what it looks like with some buckshot. So, you know, we don't really get to use our guns for home defense very much. Most of the time they sit in the closet, especially like this. It's not even a hunting gun or anything. So you got to figure, what else are we going to do with it? 
personally, I like to eat. So maybe we can use it for that. So perhaps we can butter our bread. Let's give it a shot. Ah, helps if you pump something in it. Hey, look at that. Excellent. Yeah, got a little dirt on it, but you know, still worth eating. Nice. Yeah, so if you're thinking about buying one of these 916As, I would say don't. Uh, unless, I mean, if you like butter and you like bread, it's it's pretty good for that. It's pretty terrible for home defense or anything that requires, you know, like feeding and ejection and, and stuff like that. But, I mean, who needs that in a gun anyway, right? So, uh, anyway, pretty cool. Wish I could tell you to check one out. Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video and we hope you'll follow us in the future.